Dippin' Dots is reinventing the world's most popular dessert, transforming dairy and fruit and exotic flavors into outrageous beads of frozen fun. This is the shape of ice cream scoops to come. To learn about this spherical sensation, I'm here at the production plant in Paducah, Kentucky. Inside there is one of the coldest places on the planet, but to understand this extreme ice cream, I'll risk it. Every day this plant makes around 2.2 billion Dippin' Dots. Temperatures here range from subarctic to insanely cold. Today's forecast in the storage freezer, minus 50 degrees with a chance of snow. Wow! That is cold! It's actually snowing in here. I think my jeans just froze to my legs. The entire facility is the brainchild of Kurt Jones. I used to do research for a biotechnology company. But his career changed forever when he realized he could use his laboratory know-how to make ice cream in a whole new way. The secret ingredient, super cold liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is 320 below zero. It's made from pure nitrogen gas. And that gas is cooled and compressed and condensed into a liquid. The droplets of ice cream base fall into the nitrogen bath and freeze instantaneously, creating a smoother, creamier ice cream. All the dots, including the brand new Wango Rainbow, begin in this mixing room. Each one of these 200 gallon flavor vats has a different flavor. There's a blue raspberry over here. Robert's mixing in a lemon flavor, which is actually all natural lemon. The liquid base in each one of these vats will end up as 18 million dots. This is the lime. Can you throw this in here? Go for it. Done. And now you can pour a little bit of citric acid in. Well, what does the citric acid do? Gives a little bit of a tartness to it. That's it right there. Unlike the ice cream dots, Wango Rainbow contains no dairy. Instead, it's pure fruit flavor ice with an all natural sweetener. Once the liquid ingredients are thoroughly mixed, they are pumped into the next room to meet their maker. The cryogenic processor. So this is like advanced thermal chemistry meets ice cream making. Yes, yeah, sir. The cryogenic processor holds a reserve of liquid nitrogen. When drops of flavor mixture rain down, they form balls which freeze instantly. Kind of like hail but delicious hail. A very good hail. What creates all the cloudy smokiness? Our liquid nitrogen is negative 320 degrees. So as soon as that dot hits that liquid nitrogen, it actually turns the liquid nitrogen into a vapor. Could I see some of those? Yes, sir. Whoa! Unbelievable! That is so cool. You can see each individual flavor. Are these ready to eat like this? Could you eat them right um, away? This would be about like sticking your tongue to a flagpole in the middle of winter time. And this is the same process you used to make all the dots? Yes, sir. This is a rainbow of brain freeze right here. This cutting edge manufacturing method has churned out dots made of sherbet, yogurt, and ice cream for kids of all ages. There you go. Now this innovative company is making a dot just for grown-ups. They call it 40 Below Joe. Mm. Ice coffee? See you later. I'm all about the dots.